Over the last two weeks, Woke Hollywood has been reeling after they were stunned by Sound of Freedom. On 4th of July, despite the fact that Indiana Jones and the Dial of Destiny had just been released, 4th of July, Sound of Freedom, an independent movie, a movie that they had to fight to get released by Angel Studios, a movie about the horrors surrounding human trafficking that is based on a true story of Tim Ballard and saving children that are caught up in this disgusting ring. This movie took the top box off a spot on 4th of July. And then guess what? It did incredible things all throughout that opening week. $40 million opening week and was number three at the box office behind Insidious and Indiana Jones. And then it surpassed them. Now, as we sit here in its second weekend at the box office, not only did it have an incredible hold and actually made more money this weekend than it did last weekend, but Sound of Freedom is sitting there at number two at the box office behind only Mission Impossible Dead Reckoning Part 1. And to be honest, the success of Sound of Freedom may have had an impact on Mission Impossible. Take a look, $27 million in its second weekend of release. Keep in mind, it added 400 theaters after the huge success that it had last week. You can see up 37% from its opening weekend. That is phenomenal. That is unheard of. Sound of Freedom is a summer phenomenon in the United States box office. Remarkable 27 million second three-day weekend with unearthly legs up 37%. And it's not Christmas season. Angel Studios hits $85 million US cum eyeing a $150 to $200 million United States run. We're in uncharted waters here. Now, I agree. It's kind of tough to predict how much it'll make because the word of mouth is spread in such a way. It really is. And when you watch the movie, you'll realize there is a call to activism in terms of telling other people about this movie, about the horrors of human trafficking, about child trafficking specifically, and how prevalent it is throughout this entire world. There is nothing political about this movie at all in any way, shape, or form. But that has not stopped left-wing media outlets from trying to smear it. It's been insane. Human trafficking film Sound of Freedom trashed by liberal outlets as QAnon adjacent. If you want to have criticisms of maybe Tim Ballard, or if you want to have criticisms of Angel Studios, you want to have criticisms of Jim Caviezel, you know what? I disagree with a lot of those criticisms, but I understand we've seen a lot of people in Hollywood, about 90% of them probably have different political beliefs than I do. They probably think some things about Donald Trump or Republican Party or conservatives as a whole that I probably wholeheartedly disagree with and think is fucking crazy. But at the end of the day, if that's not coming through in their work, if they're not putting that in their movies, the vast majority of people don't have a problem with it. But for some reason, Hollywood and the mainstream media have been attacking this movie relentlessly, even though it in and of itself is not any sort of political message. But it doesn't matter. The woke attacks don't matter. In fact, you can make the argument that the woke attacks have only helped it. That all of this press from the mainstream media trying to bash it made people say, what the hell is this? And they looked a little bit into it. They're like, wait, so you're telling me that Hollywood, the elites in Hollywood want people to not see a movie about child trafficking? That's a little bit strange. I better check this out. And obviously with their pay it forward system, people are able to donate tickets and things like that. It has been a massive, massive success. Um, I was lucky enough to actually to actually meet the producer and one of the co-stars of this. He was there at the Turning Point USA event I was at the other night. I was able to talk to him for about two or three minutes. I told him how thankful I was for this movie and they got it out there and how much the audience, my audience, the Geeks and Gamers audience, appreciates what they're doing. And they have been blown away by all of the support because as much as they thought they made a good movie and that it would do well, they just had to be able to get it out there. I don't know if they even thought in their wildest dreams that they would see something like this. Two weeks to release, $85 million at the box office, and it's only just getting started. They made more money the second weekend than they did the first. There's nothing that woke Hollywood can do to stop this movie. There's nothing the mainstream media can do to stop this movie. They can slam it. They can smear it. They can lie about it. But at the end of the day, it's a massive, massive success. It is shaking things up in Hollywood. Number two at the box office only behind Mission Impossible. More money than they made opening weekend and second weekend, 37% increase. Remarkable. And it's only just starting.